out a wand and waved it, sending a spray of sparks flying in the air. The salesman sped away with a smell of alfalfa and almonds trailing behind his car. The Dover Demon The Dover Demon was first sighted at night by three seventeen-year-old boys who were driving through the Massachusetts area when the car's headlights illuminated it. Bill Bartlett, the driver, reported that he saw what he thought at first was a dog or a cat, but upon a closer inspection, realized it was a bizarre-looking creature crawling along a stone wall on Palm Street. Bill continued to watch the creature and said it had a disproportionately large watermelon-shaped head and illuminated orange eyes like glass marbles. It had long, thin arms and legs with slender fingers, which it used to hold onto the pavement. It was hairless and had rough, flesh-toned skin, described as tan and sandpaper-like. The creature's appearance was very plain. It had no nose, ears, or mouth. The witness drawings portray its head as having a skull shape, forming a contour of a circle on top with a more elliptical ending projecting down to include where the nose and mouth would be. The Dover Demon was also thought to become invisible or translucent in the night. By day it hid deep in the forests of Dover, Massachusetts. Others claimed the creature had green eyes and smooth grey skin and made a blood-curdling noise similar to a hawk's screech combined with a snake's hiss. All witnesses say it had no ears, mouth or nose. They also agree that it stalks in the trees and waits to scare its next victim. The second sighting of the creature was one hour later by 15-year-old John Baxter and 13-year-old Pete Mitchell as they were walking home. John said it was bipedal and ended up running after a gully and standing next to a tree. The next day, 15-year-old Abby Brabham and 18-year-old Will Trainter claimed to have seen a similar-looking creature from Will's car on the side of the road. Abby's description matched Bill's and John's description, except this time the cryptid had illuminated green eyes. She said its height was about the size of a goat. Investigators attempted to confuse Abby by pointing out she said it had green eyes reflected by car headlights, while Bill claimed orange eyes were reflected back to him by his car lights. But Abby was 
was unchanging in her description. Bill, John, Abby, and Will drew sketches of the creature shortly after their sightings. On the piece of paper that includes Bill's sketch, he wrote, I, Bill Bartlett, swear on a stack of Bibles that I saw this creature. Some suggested the creature may have been a foal, a newborn elk, or a moose calf. Monkey Man of Delhi The Monkey Man of New Delhi, also known as Kala Banda, is an unknown anomaly which was reported to be roaming Delhi in 2001. In May 2001, reports began to circulate in New Delhi, India, about a strange monkey-like creature that was appearing at night and attacking people. Eyewitness accounts were often inconsistent, but then did they describe the creature as four feet tall, covered in thick black hair, with a metal helmet, metal claws, glowing red eyes, and three buttons on its chest. Some also claimed the creature wore roller skates. Others described the monkey man as having more of a fox snout and being up to eight feet tall. It was muscular and would leap from building to building. Over 350 sightings were reported, as well as around 60 injuries caused by the monkey man. Many people reported being attacked. Fifteen people suffered injuries ranging from bruises to bites and scratches. A pregnant woman fell down some stairs, attempting to run away. A four-foot-tall Hindu priest was beaten up by an angry mob who mistook him to be the monkey man. A van driver was set upon and sustained multiple fractures in another case of mistaken identity as the monkey man. Further sightings were reported later that year in New Delhi and Canberra. One witness claimed the monkey man had stolen his cell phone. Two people died when they left from the tops of buildings in a panic from being pursued. Police issued artist drawings in an attempt to catch the creature. The monkey man is believed to be the possible product of mass hysteria. from his friends and was spending the night in a tree. 
specialize in the lava. As she watched the log, it began to move, and when she looked again, it was gone. On the same day, a man reported seeing the creature around midday, and continued in his sight for an hour and a half. The creature's head was shaped like that of a sea turtle, ten to twelve inches above the surface of the water. From the back of his head to the next part that was visible was around three or four feet. It moved rapidly through the water, approximately one or two miles within three minutes. On August 12, 1877, a shipmaster said, His head
much bigger than the 18 foot submersible, at around 25 to 40 feet in length, but only 5 to 6 feet wide. They were able to judge the fish's length using the hydrological instruments, which had been recently placed on the seafloor. Yeah.